How's it going, everybody? It's your old pal, Baba Ganoush here. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a good one here today. So, in an effort to gain more ground clearance around my rear axle, uh, especially the fact that now I have a rear differential skid plate, uh, I'm gonna be doing what's called a U-bolt flip kit. This is by a great company called Duro Bumps. Definitely check them out. I'll leave it in the description below. But we're basically going to be uh, flipping the U-bolts, putting new mounting plates, and also slightly larger bump stops on there as well. Uh, in an effort, like I said, to gain more ground clearance around the rear axles, uh, as well as in an effort to help prevent my rear shafts from bottoming out as I do start to add weight uh, to the truck here. So this is a fairly quick and easy install. It shouldn't take too long, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, everybody, and as always, before we go ahead and get started, be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my future videos. Give me a thumbs up at the end of the video if you did enjoy yourself. I know that you will. This is gonna be a good quick install here for you today. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first is jacking the rear of the truck up, getting it up on some jack stands. Duro Bumps recommends taking your spare tire out as well as the rear wheels off. Thankfully, I already have my spare tire removed so, rear wheels is all that's left. So, after removing the wheels, it is time to go ahead and remove those factory U-bolts. You're going to need a 7 8 socket and I definitely recommend getting a big one just to make sure you have the clearance uh, getting over the excess end of the U-bolt. Once you got everything off, of course you're going to go ahead remove uh, the lower support block and then go ahead remove those U-bolts. After getting the passenger side done, it is time to assemble uh, the new bump stop. As you can see, the new bump stop is much more substantial. It's definitely going to give uh, my rear end much, much more support. So now that we got the driver's side installed, we're going to go ahead and move on to the passenger side. Install the bump stop, thread the new U-bolt up and through. I only have the, uh, the bolt hand tightened thus far. Once I get everything all uh, hand tightened and snug, I'm going to go around and torque everything down to spec. Duro Bumps recommends torquing everything down to 93 foot-pounds. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Durobumps recommends retorquing these uh, at 250 miles, 500 miles, and 1,000 miles. Uh, there is some stretch in the U-bolts, uh, some wear and tear, as expected. Uh, so it's always a good idea just to make sure things are tightened down properly. We're going to go ahead, get everything torqued down, get everything cleaned up, and then we'll go ahead and see the final results.
so that is it. We finally got everything installed. I know it's dark already. I did actually take a bit of a break to have dinner. All in all, this took me about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, I did clean some things up down below while I had the chance, uh, lubricate some things while I had the chance, so that did take a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. But otherwise, as you saw, it came out clean. It came out great. You can see the added body clearance. It's gonna be spectacular. So I gotta go ahead, I gotta get everything put back together, clean things up, so that way I can take advantage of the added ground clearance. Definitely uh, take a look in the description down below. I'll have all the links down there towards the, uh, the setup that I have ready to go. Uh, otherwise, thank you all so much for following along. Another fantastic video here today. Be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my future videos every Wednesday and Sunday, FYI for ya. Uh, otherwise, you know, give me a thumbs up. Always do appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, see you guys in the next video. Baba Ganoush, out.